Good morning YouTube, it is I, Danielle, better known as Danielle, a happy medium and welcome back to our channel. And in today's video, this one's got a bit of a story to it and one that I didn't really know a great deal about. So I asked the spirit world and they helped me out with this one. We're going to talk about eyes open. A couple of people on the channel and I had a couple of emails asking me about this question and i got to be honest, I didn't really know. So in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about eyes open when doing mediumship and how we can improve that through mediumship development. So like I say, I am Danielle, better known as Danielle Hatman. If you like this video, give it a like. Do share it around with friends. And if you're not subscribed to the channel or you've just seen this video for the first time, maybe come on over and subscribe to us. And in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about eyes open. And I'm going to talk to you about one of my students. And I'm sure she'll not mind us talking about her, Fiona. And Fiona, it was a student who came to me on my mentorship program about 10 months ago. And she was one of the most nervous students I had in all of the time that I've been developing mediums and sharing knowledge. And Fiona was a massive clairsentience medium with no clairvoyancy and no clairaudience. Everything was done on a feel and vibration. And she was one of my students who for us forever putting her head down and needing to do that in order to link to the spirit world. And for many, many months, I allowed it because it was her way of working for the spirit world. But her ultimate goal is to do private sittings. And obviously, when we're doing private sittings, there's no way that we can be obviously dropping our head or we're sort of having to look down or we're having to shut our eyes when we're working with the clientele. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a little bit of the story about the weekend where I was sharing knowledge with my mentorship students and how Fiona came from being like this to eyes open and link into the spirit world. And I'm going to put it in the easiest mechanics you understand so that you get it here on the channel. So like I say, Fiona is a lovely student of mine, a very nervous student and a student, but a very intellectual student, a very smart lady she is. And Fiona, like I say, for many, many years, many, many months has linked on this clairsentience link, which I'm happy to do and allow. So at the weekend, when we were obviously training, she was continuing to do that. And with the connections to the emails and the comments that some people had asked me to do a video tutorial on this, I sort of tried something out. And I had asked for the spirit world to give me something in order so I understood it more. Because i got to be honest with you, see on the channel, I didn't really get it. I didn't know why people did it. Now I know why. So what happened was, is, is that when Fiona was still doing these things, I said to Fiona, I says, look, I says, I want you to try and look just for the spirit world. Put your clairsentience to one side. And she couldn't get it. She she didn't understand it. She couldn't get the mechanic for it. It just wasn't, it wasn't slotting in for her. So I went back to the spirit world. I says, look, I says, this mechanic's not working. And what I come back was, is get her to link on a clairsentience link, but make her keep her eyes open. So I said to Fiona, I says, look, I says, link as you would normally do with your clairsentience, which she did. I says, but what I want you to do is become like, is open your eyes and keep your eyes open. But instead of looking with your own eyes, start to look here. And after a little bit of time, what she wanted to do, what she started to do was, is I, well, if you watch most mediums, most mediums, when they're linking to the spirit world, will there'll be an alteration of either the eyes or there'll be an alteration of the auric field, or there'll be some slight change in where there's been that shift. So the best way I can put that shift to you is a bit like a clutch. So most of you on here will drive. And what happens is, is, is as we lift that clutch, we get the biting point. That's your shift. And then as you lift it again, you become aware of the spirit world. So when I was working with Fiona, I give it to her in that mechanical style because she understood it and she understands the logics and she drives as well. So it was easy for her to understand. So she linked in with her clairsentience, she kept her eyes open and instead of like looking, she started to look inside of her mind. And what happened was all of a sudden she started to see pictures. She started to become aware of, of imagery of the spirit world. Now, for Fiona, she, see, she saw Snowflake. Then she started to see lots and lots of other imagery that was being produced by her in the spirit world. Now, I did get her guide involved in this because ultimately, because she's sort of a, a newish medium, she's been training a while, but she was brand new to mediumship prior to training with me. 
or sharing knowledge with me. So I always ask the spirit world to assist here because it's important with them. So what I want to talk to you about here on the channel is, is that all of you who are watching are going to be, some of you will already be linking in the clairvoyance link and have your eyes open. For those who don't have their eyes open, you're going to be running on some lower clairs, so maybe clairsentience, clairaudience, which is more predominantly bigger clair. Or you may be working on that clair cognelian, you might be clair in the clair augustus or clair empathy. Use the, the main clair first because that's important, That that's your starting block and that will stop the mind fearing because if we were trying to take that link out which is what i tried to do fiona's mind just started to reject me and it was like i don't like that don't do that danielle so i left her with the clay she really liked but added another clay in and that's an important part here when we're doing this sort of eye opening technique it's making sure that you still use the clay range you have but instead of you know expecting fiona was expecting to see them like she's seeing me and you like what you're watching me on the channel and i said to her no i says you need to be looking here like as if even if you have to put an imagery so a mechanic could be you could put a picture block as at one point that's what she was saying she was seeing a square so i said to her just look at the square and the imagery will start to come in this in the square so if you need to put that mechanic in which is a blank square blank screen um a circle an image and see through the image that's okay too lots of people talk to me about seeing kaleidoscope sort of imagery and that's where the spirit world is in that kaleidoscope and the best thing to do is just look at it and what will happen is, is the, the kaleidoscope or the colors or the imagery will start to become like more prominent at first you might not see a great deal but given time doing this you will find you get more and more imagery so what you need to understand is, is is that you have to be aware of where your shift is. So if you're coming in on that clear sentence, that clear, not, clear, clear, that clear cognelian, apologies there, you will obviously become aware of the spirit either through knowing or feeling. And then what you need to do is, 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 is you've shifted the mind, start to look here and either get that imagery in, as I've said, or you can start and become aware of certain imagery, certain things that the spirit world may get, also get the guide involved because the guide's really important here they will help you as you move further and further down the path the guides start to step back more it's not that they're not there it's just that they don't need to assist you as much as what they did when you first started out and what happens is is you become more and more of you do more and more of the work yourself as the medium in the beginning you need the guides in order to be able to link and do them types of things it, it's a help it's a safety net it's an opportunity for your mind not to reject the spirit world so in this video, we've talked about eyes open, how you can maybe do that with your eyes open because lots and lots of mediums struggle with this one. If you watch most mediums when they're working or demonstrating or even in, this, in the sort of the sharing knowledge um, sort of platforms, maybe over Zoom or whatever, if they're linking to the spirit world, you'll see they'll either, the mind will shift it, you'll see it, the eyes. So if I was to go to the spirit world now, so let me just think about it. I'm already in the spirit world, my eyes have moved, it's the eyes and it's the slightest change of the imagery of the of the eyes or the shift of that mind. It's important that you find that with that clutch idea or mechanic which should help you quite strongly there. So in this video, like I say, we've talked about eyes open. I hope it's a benefit to people. I may have to do another one a bit more in depth, but this was sort of the basics. And I thought, well, this may be helpful for some of you out there. And we can maybe look to enhance on that further down the line when I haven't bigger more understanding on it. But I know lots of people were asking for me. And because it happened with the students at the weekend, I thought it was a really good fit and time to bring it in. It's been a pleasure talking to you at all. We are live on Thursday night here on YouTube, so do bring your questions along. Please do share the channel around, or the videos around. It's really nice to have you all here. The view time continues to rocket, so thank you very much for that, and the subscribers, actually. So thank you very much. I'm humbly grateful, me and the Spirit World are to you, lovely lot, who continue to watch my channel. Get involved, comment, like, like the comments box, so give us a t tell me what you think of the video, um, and I'll see you all on Thursday with a new video and also the live stream. Have a great week no matter what you do. Bye for now.